Good, Good morning. morning. We're at Fanny Six and we have less Good than two morning. hours to get ready and out of the door. So there's four kids. There's Mia who's the teenager, Sienna who's the tween, then there's Karma who's five and Koa who is nearly four. And everybody takes a long time and have lots of needs to get ready. But Sienna and Karma have their first gymnastics of the year and we're always running Ooh. late. But it even starts 15 minutes Ooh. earlier this year. So we have to make sure that we're ready. So will we be ready and out of the door? Everyone wake Bring up! Good morning Fizz fam. I just woke up and I opened up all my curtains and turned my lights on and I'm so disappointed. What I'm going to do now is brush my teeth and take out my overnight curls and this has literally maybe happened like once like the first time I ever did it but for some reason this whole chunk has fallen out over the night. So I don't know why that's happened and I'm really disappointed because now this bit's not going to be curled. Good morning Fizz fam. It is now 7.14 a.m. It won't go into focus. Um, and I need to get up. I do sometimes get up on like a Saturday, more like 7.30, but I want to get up nice and early so I can show you everything and not be in too much of a rush. But at the same time, there was a bit of a rush because my gymnastics lesson starts at nine and I've got to get there and eat breakfast and get ready and everything in time. The light in here is terrible. I'm so sorry about that, but the light in my bathroom will be better. Have you brushed your teeth yet? No. We need to go downstairs and do that, don't we? Okay. Because your mummy and daddy's bathroom. But I did. You did. Did you? Uh -huh. You're brushing your teeth. Uh -huh. And I have to brush my face, my which face. I've started doing every morning. This yeah. is a facial brush, and this is really good for your lymphatic system. It helps drain the face, and I just go like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. You have to start on your neck. You have to go upwards and sweeping movements like that. I'll show you quickly. Then you go like that, cross your forehead and down to the side towards your ear and then around your eye socket and down towards your ear and then you go across like that on your cheeks up towards your ears and then you bring all the lymph all back down again i look like 20 years younger don't i anyway come on your mum's crazy darren's using the toothbrush so i'm going to clean my teeth after you darren i'll go and clean karma's so after all the teeth and the faces are brushed then i come into your room and i give it a little check over because sometimes when we come in the mornings every single piece of furniture has been moved and things are everywhere but look it's so tidy wow you've kept it so nice and tidy but the playroom is quite messy well that's fine you'd be playing with your toys and then i quickly just pull the bed covers back i can do my own bed yeah karma's be making her bed in the morning tonight do you want to show the fizz fan you making okay. your own bed i, I like the beds to air out a little bit before Daddy, they get laid later bed. so now we can go downstairs can't we for yeah. the fun part Okay, Karma, to make the perfect matcha latte, first of all, start boiling your water. I'm actually going to do it at 90, that's a little bit too hot, a bit cheeky, but it's because the cold milk will cool it down as well. Then we're going to take our matcha, spoon, okay, spoon. We put it in a jug, a little bit more, because I like it strong, Mum doesn't, so I give myself more. I do like it strong. You want to taste it by yourself. Okay, okay you can Ready? try the residue on the spoon if you want. Yum. Really? <laughs> I think you probably think that just because it's like grown up stuff, don't you? So we're going to boil the water. Okay, Fizz fam, so as you can tell, I look a mess. So when I first wake up, I usually brush my teeth and brush my hair just so um, it doesn't look so like it's an actual pigeon's nest and more like hair. So I'm just going to brush it a little bit. There we are. That looks a bit better. It still is very greasy today, so I'm going to put it up and I also have to have it up for gymnastics as well anyway so now I'm going to get my toothbrush I use an electric toothbrush and then I'm going to put some toothpaste on it oh my goodness oh my chip oh don't tell me my chip to have cup I have a mug which I put my braces in to clean I keep it on the side of my bathroom, but then um, I accidentally knocked off with the toothpaste and then it fell in the sink and then now it's got a chip. Okay, I'm now gonna brush my teeth and then I'll see you in a bit. I'm so disappointed about my hair. I don't even wanna take it out because I just feel like it's gonna look stupid. If this has actually curled properly, which I think it, mm, it hasn't even curled well. I'm so disappointed. I don't know why it's come out so bad today. I feel like it's probably because I knew I was gonna be showing it on camera. So it just decides to fail on me. Okay, that side's all right. I've had days where it looks so much better than that. And then I've just got one random street bit. 
Now the water has reached 90 degrees. Just cover the powder in the bottom. Ooh. Then we're going to take Karma, our just little what, whisk. Guess what that looks like. What does that look like? This tea. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it looks more like pond water. Going to whisk this up to make sure there's no bits of powder in it. And then we're going to divide this out between mine and mum's cups. A lot in my cup, a little bit in mum's cup. So as mum goes completely crazy, we know what mum's like. Hey! <laughs> it's on to the frothy milk, isn't it? So what milk have you got here? So we've got soy milk. Can I frothy? Yep, up and down. Hey, Whoa. look at that. Frothy milk. The frothy bit is my favourite bit on hot drinks. Is it your favourite bit, Fizz Fam? Wow. And we've got our Monaco mugs these days as well, look. Yeah, to remind Cheers. us of our lovely family vacation. Mm. So if you're wondering why we're drinking this green foamy drink, it's because we are obsessed with Shrek. Like, we love anything to do with Shrek, don't we, Cam? And this is called Swamp. Do you love Shrek? <laughs> no, this is actually a tea, a green tea. Well, it's basically the ground up green tea leaves and it's really popular in China and Japan. And it's kind of like coffee because it gives you energy, but it's apparently a lot more healthier and also doesn't make you go as crazy. So, and I get along with this, whereas I love- Don't get me wrong, Fizz fan. We love the taste and smell of coffee, but we've just found it makes us go too too hyper so this is a really good nice substitute if no side effect yes yeah, so if you're looking for a substitute for coffee this is amazing and we have it every morning it's our we'll wait until she actually drinks some aren't we yeah whoa i've got the energy Woo! come on come on no in the morning so <laughs> i do actually have a lot of energy are any of you like that where you wake up and ironically you have like a huge burst of energy i know someone who's like it <laughs> yeah me and karma are the same we both do wake up like really like let's get going but i feel like that's a mum thing because if any of you mums out there or if you've got brothers and sisters you know in the mornings you have stuff to do and because we're filming it actually it's going to be taking longer this morning so we have to really be on top of it so we're waiting for sienna i don't even know if she's awake here and we need her because sienna's job is to make the breakfast but in the meantime let's do some vitamins yeah this um is me because this is this one is B... B12. This one is... This is D3 and K2. And these are some D3. of the essential vitamins we have. We do have other vitamins, but these are the key ones, especially for the kids. And Curry's upstairs building. I can hear him building, but I'll give you two of those. And if you eat it with your mouth open, they quite can stain. So you better not do that, this fan. Yeah, they can burst out. And it's got astaxanthin in this um, Amiga which is like a seaweed and it's antioxidant and it gives you more nutrients and it's really good for your skin. You build Lego, all right, come on, let's go see what he's doing. Kara's built some Lego. Yeah, you built Lego, did you? Hmm. I where? mean, the yellow, the, I mean... Where's your Lego gone? The Lego, the yellow Lego box is eating up the wardrobe. No, it's not, it's here. There we go, this is the Lego box. He's the okay. So I decided to curl the last bit of my hair with my Dyson and hopefully it lasts because I feel like usually they don't last that well. It's a bit of a disappointing way to start the day, but I'm gonna drink lots of water now because I need to be hydrated. You can probably tell by my voice. I haven't drank any water yet. So I'm gonna drink lots. I just brushed my teeth and nothing else got broken. I did not have my toothbrush again though, but nothing else got broken. And then now I'm gonna get my water and make breakfast. One Lego tantrum later, and we have some little Omegas for you. Oh, Kerry is doing it himself. Ready? I do mine myself. I'm very you have to give it a good shake. You've got to give it a very good shake mm. before you do it. Oh, there's a little bit in there. Okay. There we go. And now we need to leave these on the side for Mia and Sienna when they come down if they're even waking I up. I haven't done this one, Mum. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're waking up or not. I'm a little bit concerned because Sienna does have to be getting ready right now. So I'm not going to have a shower. Also, can I just mention how like messy my room is? I'm really sorry about that, guys. Basically, I'm just like reorganizing my room. So there's quite a lot of stuff out in it, which I need to take to a charity shop. So before I get in the shower, I always like to choose my outfit. Now, later today, I'm actually going to be going to the hair salon. So now thinking about it, I don't even know why I did this to my hair because I feel like it's going to make it harder for them to dye my hair if it's curly. I mean, it's okay. They can just brush it out. I mean, by the time my appointment's at 2 p.m., so it's going to have fallen out by then unfortunately so yeah i need to pick an outfit obviously it's quite cold so i would like to wear a skirt but i feel like that's probably a bad idea i think i'm gonna wear this jumper and i'll wear these leggings i'll put some thermals underneath the jumper so i'll be nice and warm better get in the shower i've got to tie my hair up really carefully and try and not get my hair wet now so i just put all that effort into it and then if i get it wet in the shower completely ruined immediately well, we're now in the magic 
Well, here you go. Thank you. Comment down below if you love magic water. Oh, I love magic water. This is some futuristic device for I, I don't really water. know what happens, but it twirls all the water around and it makes the water taste better apparently. We are going to pour this out and now you can have some water for the day. It's really important, isn't it, Karen Karma? To be hydrated. Isn't it? To make sure, especially if you've got gymnastics, Karma, and Kerr, especially if you've got loads of building to do. Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, very important thing I forgot. I need to make my bed. I don't actually do this at a certain point every morning. It's whenever I remember, and um, I'll have to admit it, there has been some, well, a lot of days where I've forgotten, but today's a good day, I've remembered. So, I'm gonna make my bed. I love sleeping with a hot water bottle. It is honestly the best thing in the whole entire world. So, if you feel cold at night, like, you should think about hot water bottle. Okay, I'll show you guys my jelly cat collection. So, I have, I'm really meant to be making my bed right now, but I've got this little octopus, and then I've got this little clam shell with a pearl in it. Co actually got me this for Christmas. And then I've got a little boba. I love this. And then I've got a little daisy. And then I've got a um, hummingbird. Hummingbird, that's it. And then what I got in my stocking, a little shrimp, which I just love. I love him. He's my smallest one yet. <laughs> and then I've got this big flower that is on my chair. So that's my collection so far. It's all done. Look at that. That does look pretty neat, doesn't it? It's on your cup, Karma. A little camel. With it's got lipstick, this, some nice shoes, and it says this. What does it say? Dubai. Yeah, and what animal is that? You got it from Dubai, and it's a camel. Yeah, you love those. So we've got our Monaco mug, so they've got their the Dubai mug. It's cool, isn't it? It's like covered in a cool sun. It's got sunglasses, lipstick. Yeah, that was I've a fun I've never saw a sun got a white tongue. Have we got a white right tongue? No, red tongue. We had a fun time when we go on holiday, don't we, Koa? Yeah. Nice memories. We need to get some more mugs, don't we? Yeah. I can hear Sienna. I think she's coming down. Because if not, I was then going to start making the porridge. So I'm going to start getting some of the ingredients out. So I think today we're going to be having oats. It's gymnastics day. We need energy, don't we? So we're going to have oats. This is going to be a little clue of what we might be happening. Having. And then in the fridge, we've got, where's the milk? Oh. You've got the milk. We're gonna have milk with the oats. And there's two special ingredients what we're gonna to add to the oats to make it really delicious for this time. And I know Sin is really excited to show you. Okay, I'm now going downstairs. Oh! Hi! Hi. Good morning! <laughs> You guys are telling the Fizz fam that you're really excited to show them a really special oats recipe. Yeah. Which you love to have before gymnastics, don't yeah. you? Really yummy. So for breakfast, we're going to be having strawberry and white chocolate oats. Ooh, it's um, delicious, isn't it? Yeah. i got to put the oats in. Um, I Guys, still... can I just say something? Who can remember when Sienna was like four, Karma's age, and she used to make these? Like, used to make like these types of videos. Oh, like, yeah. For breakfast. I just, wanted, I just got a flashback. Sienna does loads of cooking on her own now, don't you? She yeah. makes lunch. She sometimes even makes dinner. But you always make the breakfast, don't you, and lunch? Do I? Not always, but, but yeah, yeah. You're like really helping out a lot now, Get, learning some good skills. Do you want any water? Ah, uh, yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Absolute miscommunication there. I thought Georgie meant water from the kettle for the porridge as well. <laughs> and then she gives Sienna a glass of water, then Sienna pours it in the porridge. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to intervene, right? This is just, I can't handle just filming this when no one's making the like, porridge properly. I was like, right, boiling you water. Boiling water, but I was like, okay. No, I was going, I thought you might boiling be making Boiling water to drink. in the porridge. I was being kind. I was making you some water to drink. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if you first found feeling like this after the holidays and like you're back to the routine, like you maybe come back from a holiday or just sitting on the sofa, you know, having a really relaxing time and then you have to wake up and like actually be ready for things. Yeah, this is very different for us because we're obviously only just got back from being in Tenerife yeah. so we're having to get used to cold dark mornings yeah. instead of like the sun coming in through the windows yeah so like in the mornings we're like a little bit going and you, you're gymnastic I don't know if you know but actually starts 15 minutes earlier this morning so we what? have to be even quicker we're always running there you never told me that yeah we're normally always running late as it is so let alone this morning and I don't want you to be late for your first run so let's get going it's fine you're just doing things in a different order maybe Sienna's going to drink the cold porridge and then like pour the glass on your head for a shower 
<laughs> Have your vitaminas. Thank you. Vitamina! That's really bad. Right, and if any of you ever been to Tenerife for the Canary Islands, you're like laying on the beach and then suddenly you hear singing go, Vitamina, Coco, Coco. What, what is that, Sienna? Vitamina. Coco, Loco. Coco, Loco. Coco, Loco. Tutti, Coco. Fruity. Yeah. Ever since we've been back, we're all the babies say is, Vitamina. Tutti, Fruity. Tutti, Fruity. We're like walking down the road and they're shouting it. It's quite embarrassing. You're having your vitamins. And then is there anything else you have to have? Uh, no. We have, right. So here are the strawberries for the part of the strawberry element. And then Sienna will show you the white chocolate bit. Sounds really naughty, but it's really healthy for you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really healthy. So every day I try and drink a whole bottle of water. So I write the day of the week on it and then I decorate it. Um, <laughs> I have already drank a glass of water though, so it's going to be difficult. Well, you're not going to drink the whole thing one go, are you? No. I was going to say, that's, yes, that, a little bit. There, there is such a thing as drinking too much water. You yeah. can't yeah. drink the whole bottle of water. But how come you write on it then? Yeah. Um, just because sometimes if I don't write on it, then like I won't finish a bottle and then the next day like I'll have that same bottle and then I won't get a new one that day. So basically, it gets watered yeah. down on each day, doesn't it? <laughs> Very funny pun. By the way, I've taken over your job. Yeah, come, really, on. come and see them. I think because we're filming, we're not quite doing things exactly how we're yeah. going to do them, are we? So there you go. Yeah. You have the, the glory of the porridge making. Having to document the morning does add an extra element actually to the brain. Right, so you've done that now, so now it's time I'm to serve it up. Yeah. Right, so how many is there? How many children? Four. So we've got. She always forgets. Well, no, it's because sometimes I have to carry five for you. I'm not sure if that's an insult or not. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Serve your bowl up of what you want for gymnastics, yeah. and then you can I'll show the first. secret of the white chocolate. Please, sir, can I have some? That is actually... <laughs> right, you don't normally have more than that. I think no. you're going crazy. <laughs> Porridge is very, very filling and very sustaining. It's your long-lasting energy throughout the day. This is called stick to your ribs. Oats. But Sin is now going to make it better and not make it look like So it was called white chocolate and strawberry, now it's called stick no, to your ribs. Sorry, Sin, you forgot the meth. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you forgot the white chocolate. Bit. Hang on, no, I haven't. Right, no, right. I'm, so, I'm sorry, what I have. Are you doing? This... How's it going to melt on top of the frozen strawberries? Sin, you forgot the meth. I'm sorry, I can't go. Okay. I really wanted to show you and get you really hyped up about this breakfast. So the white chocolate secret is actually to gout cacao butter, which white chocolate is made out of. But this is just and it's like really good for you. Loads of healthy fats, which is good for your skin and your brain. And then you get a little. Put it. Do it piece. here. You have to dump it in when it's really hot, and then it will start to melt. And then give it a little stir, and then you put on your strawberries, and then it's strawberries and white no, chocolate. Look, my Perfectly. Yeah? You don't care, do you? But I do. <laughs> I'm caring about it way too much and I should. Right, and now you get the table and you just eat it, don't you? I'm going to serve up curries and karmas. Okay, now I'm going to try it. So fist fam. But just to show you that it does melt, look. That's what happens. It melts and then you stir that in. I, I just really had to show you fist fam. Oh okay. Well, I'm you're obsessed with this porridge. He's like going on about like white chocolate and strawberry porridge. And they don't forget to say that. I'm like, seriously, calm down. Anyway, I'm going to try it. Mm. There you go, my little sausage. You can take it up the table. Mm. Enjoy it up the table. Sit down and enjoy it. It's good for your digestion. So now I'm all dressed. I'm going to be going downstairs and I'm going to try and get myself some breakfast. And also, I need to get something out of the freezer, which I'm going to show you guys. Breakfast is ready, Koa and Mia, if you're even awake. Now, Mia has a bit of a different routine on Saturdays when it's gymnastic day. She obviously is now 19, so she's got her own life. I don't know why I'm just sitting down at her breakfast. I'm like sitting down as if I'm going to eat it. Wait, what's going on? So I don't know what she's up to today, but I know that she might have an appointment or something to do. But she does usually wake up a lot later than us. She might do this to her boyfriend, mm, but she's meeting her boyfriend. Maybe, yeah. That's some serious business. <laughs> Said I can't help her. You want to show me something? You've got two rabbits. <gasps> wow, they are so cute. Look at you in your PJs. Look <laughs> at your cute got... little teddy PJs. Mama, remember? We uh, we've got two rabbits. Yeah, so we have one more. Right, Koa, your breakfast is ready. King Koa, there's your breakfast. 
Feeding the king in the morning is difficult business. Getting him to sit still and getting him to finish his breakfast is incredibly difficult. However, Sienna and Karma, especially Karma being her age, you are, you are really good at eating your breakfast all by yourself. Mom, you eat it very quickly, I don't you? I will tell something. Poet fight. No. Black on face. No. On camera. No, please, Karma, don't listen to that. No porridge, no porridge fight. Okay? <laughs> This is what I'm on about. Banana. He's so cheeky. Even splat on banana. No. That would be funny if we did that, but I don't want to do that. Good girl. No, don't and do it. We're definitely be late. Apple. We'll definitely be late for gymnastics. And splat on apple. No, eat up your breakfast, Koa. Oh, Koa just said something really sweet. Do you want to say it again? Thank you, Mum, for making this bowl. It's really yummy. Oh, well, Sienna actually helped make it, Koa, this morning. Yes, <laughs> Um, this is how much gymnastics friends I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Six gymnastics friends. Are you looking forward to seeing your friends? Yeah. You haven't seen them for a long time, have you? This is the only way Cora eats his breakfast. Mom, can you be a digger? Yeah. It literally sometimes can take like an hour to sit here and try and get him to finish it. Mom, be a waste. Car. And I'm just like sitting here like, we need to get ready. A racing car, okay then, that's a good one. Ready? I, I don't know if I'm making the right noise, it's no, really hard to differentiate. Please, don't between please, please, a double please. truck and a digger. Good morning guys! Hi Kara! Hello! Are you having a good morning? Hi guys! Hello! Morning! Hi, Hi. Oh my gosh, Hello. I like your pajamas. Thank you. She's, She's downstairs at what you four minutes before 8am. Oh my gosh, wow. you're doing that thing. I've seen people Good talking progress. about this on TikTok, how I literally always get up at like 8. I don't know what Wait, you're on about. Yeah, exactly. You get up at 8. Yeah, you're not down here at 8. Wait a minute, Big Bam. Something this door dropped down the stairs. I need to get ready now. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. No, hang on, hang don't on. you have not like yeah. that much time yeah. to gymnastics? Look. It's mantra of the daytime. Oh, no, 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 no. It's mantra of the daytime. I love that voice. I love it when he does that voice. Oh. You, you do it today, Darren. I'm going to get confused between the cameras now. Should we be kind of really deep and spiritual or should we be a bit like fun or should we be like... Right, I think the fist fan wants fun but effective. What is he about? I don't know what he's about. Like, what? Mia. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You either go big or you go home. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? It just means give it your all. Oh. Just, just anything you're gonna oh. attempt, just give it your all. Go yes, big yeah. or go home. Go big at gymnastics or you just go home. Exactly, you're gonna go there and you're gonna go give home. it your all. Right? What camera? Go home. Go home, stick. Kurt's got some good energy this morning, that's for sure. I like that, Darren. Make sure your dreams are big. I feel like the go home part is rhetorical. It's basically just saying go big, like you have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, right now I need to have a shower. So I'm going to show you what shower gel I use at the moment. So I'm using Brazilian Full Play Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. And this is from Sol de Janeiro, and I love this. So much, but it's only a mini though, and it's kind of almost run out. So I need to buy a new shower gel soon. And then I'm not going to shampoo my hair, but um, on a day I do is um, I'm using these at the moment. I got them for Christmas. The shampoo and conditioner, the um, by Sam McKnight, the Cool Girl Cleanse and Cool Girl Nourish. Very very cool. <laughs> so I'm now going to have a shower. Okay, I forgot to show you. When I don't wash my hair, I do my hair up for the shower, and it is always so funny. So I feel like I've just got to show you. Oh my gosh, it looks. <laughs> yeah. So that's 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 my shower look. It's so none of my hair gets wet, but um, can you imagine me going out like this? I do not even want to think about it. <laughs> but yeah. Wait, no, this is even better. I should do like a, a fashion show but for her yeah my new hairstyle 
Okay, anyway, I'm actually going to have a shower now. Right, Mia and I happen to tidy up a Thank load of Mama. Lego. Thank you, Cara. Because they've been deciding to throw it from up the stairs. Now, this is one of the oh, reasons this is why it takes ages in the morning to get ready. Right, so let's tidy this up and we're going to get changed this now and showered and cleaned already, yeah? She knows in the background there's still a Christmas decoration up on the front door, so that needs to go back in the loft, doesn't it, Karma? Mm -hmm. Now we're on the Steelers. Come on, you two. These two are like Tom and Jerry. Come on, <laughs> Having two kids close together is definitely hard work, isn't it? So, Fizz fam, I finished my breakfast. Mum or Sienna or someone made me porridge today, so thanks to them for making me porridge today. Sometimes I just like get leftovers or like I'll make myself fresh porridge or like I'll make myself something savory. I quite like having savory breakfast but sometimes it's nice to mix up. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what is in the freezer. The only thing is, oh, I did put it in. I'm really glad because I actually had like amnesia about whether I put it in the freezer or not, but I couldn't find it anywhere in my room last night. So I felt like that probably meant that I did put it in the freezer. Ta-da! If you can't tell what this is yet, don't worry, I'm gonna show you because it does look quite unusual. But it's really interesting because I, when I bought this, I was expecting that when I put it in the freezer, it'd get like really, really cold, like an actual ice cube. It is cold, but it's not like painful full to touch cold so that's quite nice hey guys i'm all dressed i just had a shower in my leotard and gymnastic short i'll show you my full outfit in a minute but i'm just gonna put this little pretty jumper thing in joke on and i need to um carry on getting ready so next i'm going to be using um the Sol de Janeiro Delica Drench Body Butter. I really like this. This is actually new. I got it when we were in Tenerife in the Sephora there. So I'm really happy about this. And this is like their new one that came out in January, I think. And it's so nice. It's like whipped cream. Look at that. It's amazing. Okay, right. So I'm just gonna be putting out my legs. Because in the winter, your legs can get really dry to the point they look like scaly and I hate that. So, okay, I put a bit of that on. And then next is perfume and then hair. So for perfume, I mean, I feel like you, you know what I'm going to be getting. Of course, Sol de Janeiro. I'm going to be putting the 62 on and this smells like pistachio and salt caramel. It smells amazing. I need to get hair elastics and a hairband and hair gel. After breakfast, I always choose my new cover for gymnastics. Oh. This is my favourite. I might get this one and then maybe some shorts. Yeah. Mommy, 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 I made something for Thank you. Thank you. Now they've got the Play-Doh out. <laughs> I feel like this year we might need to get you some new shorts. They're probably getting a bit tight. You're growing, yeah. aren't you? Okay, guys, so the hairstyle I'm going to be doing is a bubble braid. And I love this because my hair's kind of short. It goes like just below my shoulders. So um, I'm going to be giving you a little tutorial. So first of all, um, you're going to need just a simple hairband some hair elastics. Um, I use four, but you may need more if your hair's longer or less if your hair's shorter. And then a normal hairbrush. And then the extras are hair gel and a smoothing brush. It won't look slick if you don't use hair gel, but you can use like hair serum or water or just nothing. I used to slick my hair with hair serum and it did work quite well. So you can do that or you can just um, have it like not slick so first of all you're just gonna oh put the hairband on your wrist and do your simple pony i can't really have mine too high because you saw how my hair looked when it was high so that's why i can't have it up high so i'm just gonna put it in that simple pony so keep on swapping hands and smoothing it down and then when you're happy with it then just tie it up here's where the smoothing brush comes in handy but you can just use a normal hairbrush to like sort of smooth it down but a smoothing brush works really well go over and smooth it all look i've got loads of like baby hairs it's really annoying i definitely am not going to cut them off although i have been tempted to because sometimes they're just like sticking out and they're all annoying but if you cut them off then um it just it it doesn't come up um so don't cut them off if you're thinking about it and then next i'm going to be getting the elastics if you're happy with your ponytail, then you can start with the actual bubble braid and you just go like 
this and put the elastic on and you can try and see yourself in the mirror I think that came out all right yeah and then the next one and you keep on doing it till you get to the end of your ponytail some people do it where they like squeeze it they make it a proper like bubble some people call it bubble braids bubble braids poplin braid I don't really know if I can do that with my hair because it's kind of short I like it like this okay there we are and then my last hairband I don't know if I need five actually Oh no, maybe my hair's grown since I last did this, which was like three days ago. <laughs> you can either add one more or you can just leave it like this. I'm happy with it like that. And then there you are, that is your bubble braid. Simple. I don't know why it always goes to one side. I need to like make it nice. Okay, but I'm making it slick with gel to make it more neat. So I'm just gonna get a bit of, I don't, you can't really see it, but yeah, I've got gel on my fingers and then move it in, make it slip to my head, make it look like I am bald. Okay, I think that's good. I just realized I've literally been taking so long to just like relax doing my hair, like making it as neat as I can. But the most important thing is that I'm actually ready and it doesn't really matter if my hair's a mess. Just as long as it's tied up, then I'm fine. Like, they, they're not super strict about your hair's got to be really neat. But I like my hair being neat, and I find it annoying if it comes undone, like mid-gymnastic, so that's why I always do it up nice and, like, tight and secure and neat. But I can't really focus on that because I've got to get ready really quickly, but at the same time, I've got to quickly smooth out this bit. <laughs> I, I, maybe, I may regret what I'm doing right now, spending more time on my hair. I've got to do so many more things. Big jump! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over your big head. There we go. You're all dressed and ready for the day. Karma decided to swap for what colour? Purple. She wanted the purple one, didn't you? Because the pink's too loose. The yeah, the pink one's no, right. Now I need to think about they're myself because obviously I can't go out in my PJs. White. Okay guys, right, so I did my hair and then I want to show you. I'm wearing these black gymnastic shorts that I got for Christmas and they're from The Zone, which is a brand that does like leotards and gymnastics wear. Then I'm wearing this pink leotard. I honestly don't know where it's from, but mum got it for me. And then I'm wearing this like zip up jumper from Pretty Little Thing. Then I'm gonna be wearing these Nike dropping bottoms. Then pink Nike shoes. But yeah, that's that's my um, outfit for today. There's something else I need to do, but I've really forgotten. So what I do with this is I got this little handle, pop it on, and this is actually a ice face roller and I got this like two days ago off Amazon and I absolutely love it. I saw people on TikTok talking about it and I was like I have to try that and I'm so glad I did because I'm gonna like try and do this every single day and it just like really helps like with puffiness and it just feels really good to like wake myself up and it's meant to be good for your lymphatic drainage system. It also came with a gua sha and I didn't even know that when I ordered this so when I put my face oil on before I do my makeup. I always use this like afterwards just to massage in a little bit more. Um, so I'm really glad that it came with that as well because I've always wanted to try one of those. Um, I don't really know how I'm meant to use that one. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm exactly meant to be doing with this one either. But I feel like you're just meant to go like that to your face. It just feels nice to put ice on your face, you know? In the morning, wake you up a bit. Yeah, maybe could you guys comment like if there's actually like a way you're meant to be using it or if I am just doing it right. Okay, I just remembered what it is. I need to curl my eyelashes. This is kind of like a hairbrush for your eyelashes. If you don't know what this is, then that's my way of explaining it. One, two, three. Then they come out with me. This eye is the eye I find a bit more difficult. One, two, three. Okay, there we are. Okay, so I'm all done with getting ready, but there's still a few more things I need to do. Refreshed and showered and dressed now. <laughs> I normally do do my makeup in the morning though, but I've got a treatment today. So I've got to have a bare face for that, which I'm actually really excited about because I really just did not feel like I had time to do my makeup. Are you ready, Mia? All right, well, not really. I'm doing my makeup. It takes me a long time to do my makeup, but I'll get my hair done later. Oh, right, you don't have gymnastics, yeah. though, do you? No, <laughs> I don't okay. have gymnastics. Oh, I'm excited to see what your hair's gonna look like. Thank you. Well, I'll let you get on getting ready. I wanna say something, though. Yeah? What is your sink like? Because whenever I do my makeup, I have so much makeup, I have to put it on the toilet, and that feels really gross. Uh, I feel I like don't... this sink was made by a man. They didn't consider that we need lots yeah. of workspace. Yeah, Mia, yeah. Yeah. The sink are made by men, not I women. Know. <laughs> Let's not get into one of those rants, okay? Anyway, um, I'll let you get on. No, but you didn't answer me. Do you have enough space on your sink? 
to do your makeup. No, I don't do my makeup in my I do it in front of, on my dressing table. Oh, I see. Yeah, but you like the light. This yeah, light is good. Though. I have to use this light. Look at this light. Careful with the foundation on my hand. Oh no. I had oh. foundation on the back of my oh. hand, and you just. Oh, we've got to leave in five minutes. I, 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 I just feel the scruffiest I've ever felt. You look Don't great. Worry. No, it's not your fault. That was my fault. Earrings in and a nice outfit on you. Oh, thank you, Mia. Well, you look lovely as well. But anyway, I'll let you get on. I don't want to, um, yeah, make you late for your appointment. Well, it's at two p.m., so I've got plenty of time. Oh, okay, that's good then. <laughs> That'd be concerning if I was late for that. So my water bottle's all filled, full, and I'm gonna put my socks on just so I'm ready because we have to leave soon. And I have these cute little like lace socks and I think they look really cute with trainers because they make it look more girly and cute and then I'm gonna put my drum buttons on. Okay right I'm ready let's go let's see how Sienna's getting on it's only just starting to get light outside isn't it? Yeah how are you? I'm good I'm all ready and I've just been practicing my handstands. Oh well I done some doing some warm ups yeah. <gasps> nice Hi. wow Hi. right we have to go dad said he's yes. gonna drop us off Okay, yeah. Which is good. I'm very pleased about that because if we walked, we would have had to leave right now. So I'm now already, I'm actually going to be filming some reels and then, yeah, I'm going to be heading out, getting my hair done. I'm literally so excited because the last time I got my hair done was like five months ago or something. I'm going to be getting more blonde put in my hair, more highlights. So I actually have 10 minutes to spare. So in those 10 minutes, I'm going to stretch and also tell you a bit about what my gymnastics class is like. We haven't got no one ah, coming up. I know. So I'm just in this like sort of split work with the front knee bend like that. So at gymnastics on the last day before Christmas, we um, play games and that. We don't have to do conditioning, which is like the workout part. That's really fun. But then on the first day back, it's fun, but at the same time, the teachers are like, oh, you haven't, you haven't been stretching for ages. You've had a huge break. So then they make us do really intense stretching and really intense conditioning. And I do need to practice my stretching again because I haven't done it for so long, like since before Christmas, basically. So um, I need to start stretching and all that again. But for conditioning, um, it's probably gonna be like 45 minutes, which I'm not excited about. I know that sounds like it's not too long, but they can make five minutes really difficult. So I'm gonna get in box splits or try and get in box splits. See what I mean? I need to, I need to stretch. So five minutes of conditioning can be holding the plank for a minute. And then as soon as that minute's over, doing as many push-ups as you can. Then after the minute of planks, then you do push-ups for a minute, then you do burpees for a minute. So if you ever want a five minute workout, that's a very intense one for you. I'm gonna have to do it all later anyway, so there's not really much point in putting myself in pain here um, when I'm gonna have to do it at gymnastics class anyway. So I have really got my water, but Karma hasn't got hers, and she is so bougie. She has a Lululemon water bottle. I think it's actually Mia's, but Mia doesn't yeah. use it, so you have it. Why not? <laughs> oh, Karma, did you do your own hair? Yeah. Wow, you did that well all by done. yourself. Well done. She actually insisted on that she did her own hair. This morning, so it's good. Well done. Her calling me. Okay, right. I'm gonna get a water bottle out for you to fill up your water bottle with. I know that sounds funny. Oh, well done, Karma. You did it. That's good. Right, you can't you forget ready? your water. Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. Ready, ready. Mommy needs to go to bed. You ready, Karma? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's ready. Yeah. Oh, she's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. 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 Come on. Yes! We have made it out of the door just in time. Are you looking forward to gymnastics girls? Yeah, skills? I am. And then also Fizz Fan, we've got loads more gymnastics videos planned on this channel Family Fizz for 2024. And then also there's going to be a really exciting cheerleading video coming out on Fizzier very, very soon. And then also a little birdie told me that Karma and Sienna have got a gymnastics competition coming Mom. up very soon as well. Yay. And it'll be your first one, won't it, Karma? Mom, is this our competition? No, no. this is the practice. Yeah. Yes, Karma? Mom, I want to go to the kids' charity shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. anyway. I'm to the competition. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be your first one, now. Karma. Oh, Yay. Yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching today's video. See you in our next one. Love you. Bye. Bye.